The name's Luke Sullivan. Since quitting the army, I've taken PMC work to pay the bills. But on the side, I've been dipping my toes into the world of street fighting. Why's that, you ask? <laughs> Heck of a question. Wish I had an answer for you. Someone once told me their definition of a fighter. They said it was someone who decided to fight their battles on their own terms. I guess I wanted to meet people who live like that, and I figured street fighting was the best way to do it. I've been testing myself against the best of the best, and I think I'm starting to get a glimpse of what it really means to fight on your own terms. I'm walking the walk, at least, but sometimes I feel like I'm still the same old snot-nosed punk. Let me tell you, those days are the worst. Oh, huh? <sighs> you know, when you bump into someone, it's polite to say something. Yeah? So? I'm waiting. Go ahead, man. I mean, I don't care either way. I'm not the kind of guy to raise a stink over nothing. Seriously, bro? You must have gonads the size of grapefruits acting like I gotta apologize. Huh. Maybe you gotta calm down and get out of my face before you really piss me off, bro. Or I can give you a lesson in manners instead. The hell you just say? Oh, you want some? Fight your battles. On your own terms. Anyone out there calling themselves a fighter is walking that same path and giving it everything they've got. There's no doubt about that. And I intend to be taking this every bit as seriously as the next guy. That said, when I think of the kid I once was, getting into brawls in back alleys, I'm not sure that I've changed all that much. <laughs> Yoon, Yang, been a hot minute since I've seen either of you, but don't worry, I'm doing just fine all on my own. The name's Jamie Show. This town's got all sorts of people looking to stir up trouble, and you could say I'm something of a peacekeeper. Ah, hey, dude. <laughs> Uh, nice to see you, Jamie. Some people are out here trying to cause problems, while others just want to prove how bad they are. But these are my streets, and I'm ready to knock some fools down a peg or three. It's all about nipping problems in the bud, you know? That's just the game, and a player's gotta play. Not to sound too full of myself, but I'm damn strong. How'd I get that way? Wouldn't you like to know? That's just how I roll. <laughs> but don't get it twisted. I don't try to go around making a show of it or nothing. I'm not some kid looking to be the king of the jungle gym. All I want to do is protect this city, just like my bros. Sometimes. Whoops. Huh? Huh? <sighs> you bumped into me on purpose, didn't you? The hell's your problem, man? Well? You looking to start something? Sometimes, every now and then, I'll run into someone who makes me forget all about the city. Someone I feel like I can't afford to lose to, no matter what. And just like when I was busting my buns to rule the back streets, my blood starts to boil. <sighs> if my bros caught wind of this, they'd never let me hear the end of it. What do you even mean, these are my streets? Come on, no matter how you cut it, from about this street on, this city's mine! Say what? A scrub like you can only strut around here acting hard because Jamie Show's keeping you safe, you know? Oh, you luck into one win, and now you think you're some kind of superhero? How about I super slap you? Bring it on, you punk! I'm Ryu, a martial artist. I've crossed paths with many during my journey for true strength. Take Ken, who trained alongside me under the same master. He has always been my greatest friend and rival. Guile, Chun-Li, Dalsim. I have been saved time and time again by those who walk my same path. I've also met my share of enemies, opponents I had to overcome. And sometimes, that opponent was my own self. My journey knows no end. I will continue to do what I have always done. Search for those stronger than myself. Oh, you must be Ryu. Hey there, the name's Luke Sullivan. 
Sorry to spring this on you out of nowhere, but what do you say we throw down? For what purpose? Excuse me? Purpose. What are you trying to achieve? Why do you fight? Purpose, huh? Well, uh... Honestly, I haven't got one. If there's someone out there stronger than me, I want a shot at him. Is that not a good enough reason? Hmm. It'll do. Oof. Talk about tough. Guess I need to step up my training. Ryu just up and disappeared the second it was over. I wanted to get a picture with him, but this is the best I could do. Actually, you know what? Maybe this ain't so bad. Because you're strong, Manon. Everyone's always said that to me. Mabo's so strong! Go, oh, Manon! Wow, Manon! You're the best! Manon's strong. And I right? I am strong. Manon, Mommy won't be able to see you anymore. But you're a strong girl, so I know you'll be just fine. Just fine? I'm more than just fine. Because I'm strong. Whether it's in the judo ring or on the runway, I'm always the best of the best. Even against other styles, I always come out on top. I am doing just fine. That day, as I was standing in the Colosseo, she called out to me. Don't just stand there staring! Get down here and face me! Let's do this! Oh my, that is certainly the most direct invitation I've held in quite some time. Well, I can tell. You and I are interested in exactly the same thing. And I claim victory yet again. <laughs> As usual, I'm more than just... <laughs> Now that's what I call a good time! Oh? A good time, you say? Was this just a game to you? No, that's not it. Of course I'm upset that I lost, but you know what? Getting to do battle with someone as strong as you was such a thrill! Uh, strong? Usually I hate when people call me that. I feel a pain in my chest every time I hear it. And yet, the way she said it so bluntly and plainly, it didn't bother me in the slightest. Next time we fight, the victory will be mine. In fact, how about a rematch right now? Oh, my. I'm quite confident I'll win the next time as well. After all, I'm strong, I'll have you know. Pankration, the world's oldest martial art. Its origins date back to ancient Greece. In the arena, no form of attack was taboo. Fighters would gouge each other's eyes out, if that's what it took. A Pankratiast's pride was everything, with many choosing death over submitting in defeat. And I am their descendant. What am I doing, you ask? <laughs> The same thing we Pankratius have been doing for thousands of years. Fighting, of course! And these are all I need! That day, I could feel someone's eyes on me. It was the first time I had ever seen her face, but I knew it right away. She was just like me. Are you really satisfied just watching?! <laughs> you can't fool me. I can tell. You're into exactly the same thing I'm into. <laughs> ah! Now that's my idea of fun! <laughs> Enjoyed getting yourself a win, did you? Quite the simple-minded approach. Come again? No, that's not it. At times, a win can feel worse than defeat, after all. The fun part was having the chance to battle with someone as strong as you! Huh? Say, 
Do you happen to know the meaning of Pankration? It means all of the might. There are countless fighters all across the world to challenge with all my might. And I get so excited thinking about it that it keeps me awake at night! <laughs> you know, I think I got it right the first time. You are simple-minded. And? Something wrong with that? No. Not in the slightest. Thought so! Ha 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 ha! My name is Marisa, and I'm a Pankratius who takes on every challenge with all her might! Oh! Someone is looking for a partner in the Colosseo? Hmm. They must be seeking a helping hand for a tag team match. Of this, there can be no doubt. Harasho! I've always wished to have a bout in the Colosseo. Just you wait. The Red Cyclone shall be on your doorstep before long! <laughs> so it is you who wrote that flyer! I, Zangiem, shall be your partner! Ah, now there's the enthusiasm I've been looking for! I've heard talk of the Red Cyclone, but you're an even tastier-looking slab of meat than the rumors say. Indeed. This body of muscle won't quit until its dying day. Ha ha ha! Glad to hear it. But enough talk! It's about time I have myself a taste! I wouldn't have it any other way. Come, then! Talk about a great time! You're every bit as good as they say you are, Zangief. Though I suppose I should have expected no less from someone who wishes to be my partner for life. For life? Were you not recruiting a partner for a single tag team match? No, you fool! We are to be wedded! Till death do us part. Wedded? You're here because you saw the flyer, aren't you? It says so right here. Those not serious about marriage need not apply? No, 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 wait a moment. I thought this was a tag match. You're not seriously going to back out on me now, are you? What is it that I'm not to your liking? I... Uh, of course you are. It's just that these kind of things require careful consideration, and uh, it's... Uh... Oh, heavens! I just remembered I have a match today. Yes, that is something I definitely have. My apologies, but I must rescind my offer to assist with your tag match. Yeah! The ring calls for the Red Cyclone! What? Hey! <laughs> Not sure what I expected. I half-jokingly spread those flyers around hoping somebody strong would show up. But never in my wildest dreams did I expect such a catch. May we one day cross paths again, Zangiev. Things are looking up! I'm opening a Chunko restaurant in Metro City, and I've poured my heart and soul into making darn sure it's got everything I want the world to see. Most importantly, we've got a stage, so patrons can spectate some sumo with their stew. We've even got genuine sumo wrestlers working the joint. We'll sumo headbutt your order straight to your door. And of course, we can't forget about the old Japanese spirit, which is where the adorable little tanuki statues come in. But it wasn't easy getting here. I had a heck of a time deciding on this location. 
I literally traveled the globe looking for the perfect place to set up shop. What a city! It's every bit as dazzling as folks say. And what better place to plop down a sumo restaurant than here in this theme park? Oh my. Sumo, you say? Right on the money, huh? A trendy eatery would suit this place like broth in a hot pot. Putting aside the dubious trendiness of a Junko restaurant, I'm not quite convinced this is the ideal location. What? Sounds to me like you don't get what makes Sumo so great. What do you say I give you a little demonstration here and now? Oh, a class style match. You're on. What do you think of my Sumo? Perfect fit for a place like this, wouldn't you say? <laughs> You misunderstand me, silly man. This is a traveling carnival. Before long, it will be torn down and headed elsewhere. What the...? So that's what you meant, was it? Oh, shucks. I'm running out of ideas for good spots. Is the location truly so important? I'm a judoka and model both. Whether I'm on the mat, on the runway, or anywhere, really. I try to be the version of myself that I want the world to see. Is that not what matters most? The me that I want the world to see, huh? So that's why I went ahead and picked this spot. And I made just the kind of restaurant I had in mind. Ha 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 ha! We'll be open before you know it. Chunko House Edamon in Metro City. And the star attraction is me, the one and only Edmund Honda! There's this chump I always wanted to kill. And wouldn't you know it, the guy apparently went and kicked the bucket. But let me tell you, I don't feel even the slightest bit happy about it. He took one of my eyes. I'll bash his skull in. His organization can fight it, too. I'll wipe it off the face of the earth. I'll kill you so hard, nobody will recognize the corpse. Rotten hell, Bison! For the longest time, it was all I could think about. To make that a reality, I used every dirty trick in the book. And then some. And yet... Why am I so frickin' pissed off? I mean, ha! For real! God damn it! Judy Han, even without the existence of Shadowloo, I see you can't help but find ways to get your hands dirty. <laughs> like you're one to talk, Agent Chun Li. Bison did it, and that's it? Daddy's avenged. Time to retire. If revenge is all you were after, you have no reason to continue down your path of wickedness. In a way, you too are one of Bison's victims. You must atone for the crimes you've committed. But it's not too late for you to change your ways and... Jeez, I forgot how good you were at putting me to sleep. I ain't atoning for squat. If you're expecting me to learn something, you're gonna have to lecture me way harder than that! <sighs> you two are one of Bison's victims. Man, I hate her so freaking much. My name is Chun Li. As an Interpol agent, I spent many years in pursuit of the leader of the Shadowloo Syndicate, a man named M. Bison. But thanks to the assistance of numerous great martial artists, Shadowloo was destroyed, and M. Bison was defeated for good. For now, I'm on a sabbatical from work. I've been spending my time teaching Kung Fu in the city. Sabbatical or not, a martial artist is always on active duty. I mustn't neglect my daily training. How about you stop sneaking around? Show yourself, Judy Han. 
Well, look at that. I heard rumors you'd retired, but I guess your senses are still working at least. Did you honestly think you would go unnoticed? Stealth has never been your specialty. Don't I know it? How about we do something a little more my speed, then? <laughs> oh, hell yeah! That's the stuff! I was worried you'd be losing your touch! Your concern is touching. Well, are we done here? Damn, what's your rush? Just thought I'd give you a little warning is all. If you think now the big bad's dead, this whole thing's over, think again. What exactly do you mean? If you really want to know, you're gonna have to beat it out of me! I didn't manage to get any more info out of Judy. Even after Bison's death, if there's any chance of something still lurking in the shadows, I have no choice but to uncover the truth. I guess I really am a workaholic. I am called Dalsim. I walk the path of yoga. In changing times such as these, there are many who stray from their path. Guiding those who are led astray is but one of yoga's many purposes. To that end, I have fought many battles myself. Conflict waged so that conflict might be avoided. This contradiction is one I have yet to resolve. I, too, am led astray. Yet I will fight on all the same. With Yoga as my guide. I sense an incredible power. Has it simply been dormant this whole time? Much is yet unclear. This bears investigation. Are you some kind of spirit? My name is Lily Hawk. I'm a Thunderfoot warrior. I am no spirit. I am Dalsim, a monk. Something about you reminds me of Singing Wolf. Do you have a message for me or something? A message? I suppose I do. I am brought here by a desire to better know your strength. Does that mean you're looking to fight? Works for me. I'm game. Whoa, you can float? Are you sure you're not a spirit? This definitely looks like something a spirit would do. A tranquil breeze cradles this child. The power I felt before is no more. Hey, Dalsim, maybe you should meet Singing Wolf. I have no idea what you're talking about, but I bet the two of you'd be on the same wavelength. Hmm? Very well. That power seemed to be the Satsui no Hado. Was it simply a trick of the senses? Perhaps in this case, I should hope I was mistaken. I love traveling. The spirit named Toi no Ikonoi is always by my side. And its voice calls to me on the wind. Go forth, Lily. There remains so much to be seen. Go forth, Lily. The world awaits. A long time ago, there was a Thunderfoot warrior just like me. He set out on a journey to save the tribe. And on that journey, he met many amazing warriors. I can only hope that's the kind of journey I've got waiting for me. I do love traveling, but I love coming home too. Welcome back, Lily. So, where'd you go this time? After all, I get to see Singing Wolf and all the tribe's folk. It's nice to be welcomed by faces I recognize. It really makes me feel safe. Hmm? Now there's a face I don't know. 
Are you some kind of spirit? I am no spirit. I am called Dolcim. Allow me to test your strength. I sense a great power within you, Lily. That's what Dalsim told me. I couldn't help but feel like... He must have been talking about Toi no Ikonoi. I'll meet all sorts of people, and get even stronger. And once this spirit has more power, I'll show Dalsim how much we've grown. I'm Lily. A Thunderfoot warrior, my journey is just getting started. <laughs> Glad to see someone hasn't changed a bit. Perhaps we should pay this sprite a little visit. Hmm, a sprite? I wonder if it's something like Toi no Ikonoi. If it is, you're right. We should go check it out. Yay! It's me, King of the Jungle Bla- Um, the Mysterious Jungle Sprite. Uh, uh, I'll be waiting for you in the jungle. Uh, it's me, the Mysterious Jungle Sprite. A handshake's welcome. Pictures are a-okay, too. Go there. Don't be shy. Uh -oh. Hiya, I'm Lily. Hi, I'm Blanca. Uh, I mean Blanca Chan, the mysterious jungle sprite. Do you wanna shake hands? <laughs> You're funny, Blanca. My spirit says it wants to see more too. Uh -huh. I'm sorry. I'm not really a jungle sprite. But so many dreams would be crushed if people found out. So... What are you apologizing for? It makes no difference whether you're wearing that thing or not. The spirit of the jungle is with you right now. <gasps> it is? Yep, it is. The power of all the trees and animals here. You have it inside of you. That's the sprite you're talking about, right? That's right. I'd forgotten. The power of the jungle is real. That means Blanca-chan is real too. And I'm Blanca, king of the jungle. And I'm real too. <laughs> There once was a man who could drive people into a state of frenzy with the power of his songs. Irresistible rhythms, catchy lyrics, fiery passion. His songs hypnotized the globe. One fateful day, he discovered the martial rhythm that dwells in the very spirit of street fighting. From that, a new kind of music was born, a fusion of battle and beats. This man, DJ, set out again today to sing, fight, and seek out brilliant new music to fuel his burning soul. Yo, I wonder what rhythm we got waiting for us today. Pump the brakes and hang tight, cause DJ's on the way. Mm. Lame, future, family. Mm. Flavor? Flavor? Flavor! Oh, yeah, now we are cooking! Those are lyrics, right? Working on a new song? You know it. Know who I am, huh? Want an autograph? Nice as that would be, there's something else I'd like more. Word on the street is that music's not your only talent. <laughs> you're a fighter too, are ya? If you think you got what it takes to get my creative juices flowing, I'm more than down for a bit of scrapping. Glad to hear it. I'll show you what my ninjutsu can do. All right, all right, all right. Now I'm really starting to feel it. Talk about out of control. 
I can remember the last time I felt a rhythm this fresh coming on. Yahoo! It's all thanks to you, my ninja friend. We got a new kid on the block bringing fresh new energy. Let me hear some of that hot new music. One crazy coincidence kicked it all off. There was this weird formula on an internet math form. And well, long story short, I solved it. When I finished, someone by the name of Xiao Bing sent a DM my way. So obviously I'm thinking, what code? And let me tell you, what came back had me totally floored. Nice shawly! For real? Talk about blindsided. Hmm. The country of Naishal and I, we got a bit of a connection, you see. My uncle was a great guy. He always looked out for me. And well, he died after getting caught up in some trouble over there. The code I cracked that day was the start of it all. That's how I, ninja star Kimberly Jackson, made my first step on a journey to discover the truth behind what went down in Naishal. It's been a long road. I've met a lot of people and kicked more tail than I can keep track of. As much as I'd love to gush about my adventure, that can wait for another time. First things first, there was this guy, right? I think he's the one who's been pulling all the strings. May I help you? Yeah. You know Al Jackson? He used to work with you. He was my uncle. And I'll have you tell me everything you know about him. Johan Petrovich. Well, well. I won, but it sure didn't feel like I came out on top. I beat him, but it's like I was the one on the ropes. There are few things more dangerous than unwarranted confidence in one's abilities. Were I you, I would endeavor to forget what transpired today. Farewell. Ms. Jackson. I didn't manage to get anything out of him. One thing I did figure out, though, is that I'm not nearly strong enough to chase after a monster like that. <laughs> Seems like this ninja star still has a lot of training ahead of her. Um, kiri kiri vaja um hatta! If it's training like this you're looking for, I'm happy to help out any time, sir. <laughs> the occasional round with young blood keeps me from getting rusty. I can say that much. So, uh, you wanted to talk? Right. You were in Naishal when everything transpired, weren't you? What do you make of Ken Masters being involved? Masters? He's innocent. If you're asking whether he was assisting the terrorists, the answer is no. He was set up. Looking to provide Naishal with aid in its development, Ken gets saddled with the suspicion of abetting terrorists. He then resigns from his position at the Foundation, and disappears from the limelight. I know he's not the type who's likely to cash in his chips if left unattended, but... Hmm. Time to start the search. Only question is where? To think you were right under my nose the entire time. I get the picture. So you thought to maintain a low profile? To keep an eye on those who attempted to approach the Foundation? Is that it? What's the big idea? You come here just to scold your loser of a brother-in-law? Scold? <laughs> if only. The only scolding my brother-in-law understands involves fists. Julia told me everything. Eliza's worried about you too. I can't... Go back yet. If you're worried about what happened in Naishal, don't be. We know you were set up. I... I'm not even sure what I'm fighting for anymore. And I've got no business seeing anyone until I sort myself out. I'm sorry, but just... Leave me be. Hmm. <laughs> Guess that means he doesn't want my help. Time to take matters into my own hands. 
If Ken Masters himself has been driven to the edge, it's probably worth looking into this nice shawl business. According to the announcement, the Suspicion man surrounding the embezzlement of funds the intended for the martial arts stadium, Johan Petrovich, made in a statement released today. Man, talk about pathetic. I got totally played. The foundation was just supposed to be doing a little support work. And the next thing I knew, I was being framed for terrorism. My name was cleared, but it's not like things can just go back to the way they were. Since then, my reason for fighting has been totally flipped on its head. Hmm. Well, well. If it isn't the former national champion. Fighting still makes you feel alive, does it not? How truly splendid. What say you, Ken? Why not forget all about what happened in Naishal? And become a thrall to the ecstasy of combat once more. Mm. I can't move forward until I settle things once and for all. But... What should I do? Do I kill him with my own two hands? I just... don't know. <laughs> don't worry yourself, Uni. I'm doing just fine over here. Well, I certainly hope so. You sometimes get so focused on your work that you forget to do basic things like eat, after all. It's all right. I'm not like I was back then. I have people looking out for me now. <laughs> what is it? Why are you laughing? Oh, it's nothing. Do you remember that charm I gave you? It's still hanging off your phone, isn't it? I just pictured it and had to laugh. <laughs> It is, actually. I'm rather fond of it. Thanks again, by the way. Don't mention it. Anyway, good luck with your work. Uni says I'm paranoid, but frankly, I can't believe that Shadaloo has been truly eradicated. And I find it curious indeed that it's getting harder and harder to track down any traces of their remnants. This will require further investigation. May I help you? Pardon the interruption. I'm investigating a criminal syndicate called Shadaloo. I heard there may be some leads here. Ah, I'm afraid I know nothing of that. Now, if you've no other business, a very hungry cat is awaiting my return. Wait! I mean... Freeze! Don't move! This feeling... I know it well. You possess psycho power, don't you? Hmm. You will tell me what you know. I'll use force if I must. Who was that man? He got away from me, but I'm certain he knows something. I've found no answers, but more things now close in around me. I wonder if I can truly put an end to all this. No, you're right. Of course I can. Forgive me. I had lost sight of myself. Thank you. This fight is not just mine alone. It belongs to all of us. And I will succeed. For all our sakes. Nice shawl. A developing nation of little significance. Tucked away in a remote corner of Asia. There is but one reason I chose to support such a country by hosting a martial arts tournament. I required a front for my money laundering operation. And yet... And yet, 
in an unexpected twist. The tournament placed a great many people on my path. Those who seek my acquaintance, those who seek to stop me, and those who seek to use me. It's rather fascinating. Am I to count you among their number, young lady? So you're Johan Petrovich. Mind if I ask you a thing or two about my uncle? Not in the slightest. Prepare a crowd, an arena, and a prize. And people swarm in like moths to a flame. Come to think of it. Bison himself had a penchant for incorporating martial arts tournaments into his plans for world domination. Utterly illogical. And yet... I think I'm beginning to understand the appeal. Ha 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 ha!